Hi, my name is Barry Crompton. Today I'm going to show you around our Audi TTS convertible. Then I'll take you for riding it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2 litre TFSI Roadster S-Tronic Quattro. It's a 2008 on an 08 plate. It's the S model with 272 brake horsepower, 81,019 miles. Fuel economy, urban 25 miles per gallon, extra urban 46.5 miles per gallon, and combined is 35.3 miles per gallon. 0 to 60 time of 5.4 seconds, a top speed of 155 miles per hour, out of a four cylinder 16 valve engine. Road tax, six months is 167 pounds 75, and 12 months is 305 pounds. So we've got the big Audi grill, the all important TTS badge there, the deep spoiler at the front there, chrome surround around the grill, chrome surround around the fog lamps, xenons, multi-spoke alloys, sat on Goodyear Eagle tyres and, and really, really good tyres. Uh, the aluminium mirror backs here, the sill protector stroke extensions there. It has the black hood, black and red leather. You've got the rollover hoops here in the back and uh, the what I consider one of the best extras uh, ever if you're a, you're a James Bond fan, with a good imagination that is. Got the rear spoiler which comes up automatically at speed or you can deploy it from a, a little switch um, just on the centre console there. The boot here doesn't have a, an actual catch on it but you can open it from either the key or a little switch inside the car in, on the driver's door and uh, I don't think I've ever seen a, a boot open to 90 degrees before I'm not quite sure why it would go that far but uh, anyway it does so uh, so that's it um reasonable amount of space you actually kind of you can tuck things quite far in so I've got this camera case which is which slides right in there and there's probably there's enough room to get another another case there so it's uh, it's reasonable size Thanks to the plane keep flying over. We've got reversing sensors in the rear bumper there and the uh, four exhaust tips at the back and kind of the, the aluminium effect diffuser. TTOC, I'm not sure what that means. I'll have to look that up. And the again, the all-important TTS badge on the side. Uh, got the aluminium fuel flap there. I'll just take you for a ride, which uh, I'm really looking forward to. Audi key. I'm going to try it with the roof down, see how we get on with that and uh, hopefully I, these cameras are just um, fitted to a precise position which will allow the windows to go down when the hood comes up but uh, we'll, we'll see about that. Right, the second best uh, accessory in a car ever Number one, of course, being the uh, flip up top on the gear stick that you can start the car from. Nice red button in the top of the gear stick. Then we've got the uh, bulletproof shield. I'm a happy man. Uh, I'd also like to dispel the myth that this is a hairdresser's car. It's not. They're fantastic sports cars. Um, they're great to drive. I've had several and look at my hair. <laughs> So if that doesn't convince you, nothing will. Uh, let me just see here. We'll get the mirrors sorted. So that's that. And then height and reach adjustable steering wheel. In the right position. And into drive. And I'm just going to knock it straight into sport. So you've got, you've got park there. Neutral, drive. Put the little button in here, another little button there, and then into sport. Now the good thing is what I want to do, hopefully you'll be able to hear the sound of the exhaust uh, when we get on the dual carriageway especially. So you can, in drive, if we're in drive we can knock it over there 
and we can change gear like so knocking it away from you change up and back to change down but we'll just go into sport and let me just see there's nothing there's nothing coming the, the quattro here we go you could you could fly around that there we go can override with the paddle shift this um, shield at the back the, the bulletproof screen makes so much difference with the wind on the back of, or draft on the back of your neck it really really helps uh, when it's up it's a it's a great addition and it I'm pretty sure in mine I had like a, a glass partition that went in um, or alternatively you've got one that you sling across the headrest which takes ages to do press a button I, th I think that's the only thing in a car that uh, I think is better with a motor in. Right, I'm going to uh, hit the loud pedal going up the dual carriageway. So we'll see how it gets on. And the man from Del Monte gets out of the way. He's like me, like he's going round roundabouts. Right, get the steering straight. Okay, that's fast enough. We're probably getting quite a lot of wind noise, to be fair. So. I'll just go a bit further and then I'll put the uh, roof up, otherwise I don't think you'll be able to hear anything, which may or may not be a good thing, I don't know. Great driving position, nice and comfortable, it's got Bose speakers as well, sat nav, and here you've got instructions in each corner of the screen that correspond to these buttons here, so if I click that, say I'll just just put nav on and then click that that should go onto map there you go yeah And if you are a hairdresser, I'm not selling it here. <laughs> I wanted to put the hood up here, but the lights have changed. I don't think I'll go up the M6, sunny weekend. I think everybody will be going to the Lake District and they'll just be stuck in the traffic. This bend here, it's a real bad one. I'll just go into the outside lane, change down. The road holding on the Quattro. Somebody's engine's having a fry up up here. I'm going 
going to come off here and put the roof up. Test the cruise control there, one touch. So that was 70 miles an hour, it's about 2700 revs. I might be able to put the roof up here if the person behind. There we go, hopefully that's not knocked my cameras out of kilter, but uh, it will go. It will go up when you're moving slowly. Nothing more embarrassing than to see somebody pulled up by the side of the road, putting the hood up when it's just started raining. Well, that's, uh, he's supposed to be turning left there, but he's no doubt going to go straight on. Stopping everybody else who's legitimately turning left. Because he's more important than everybody else. There we go. Oh, the baby on board as well. Not even going straight up there. Got turning right. Big round of applause for baby on board person. That little pop as it uh, as it changes gear as well. Why would anybody buy an electric car? It's it's beyond me. It really is. Should I go? I think the motorway, the M6, will be chockers. let off the accelerator when I'm accelerating and uh, listen it pop what a great value for money car this is pretty much just as it's come in it's had a bit of a hoover and a tyre slick um, Lance hasn't got to work on it yet. Uh,
heated seats, beautiful red and black interior. The Audi MMI system, probably. Um, I'll show you how to set the sat nav when we get back, how to delete a mobile, how to pair a mobile. Heated seats are there, your climate control, just turn that on actually. Now we've got the hood up, it's a bit warm today. Global locking, down here is your petrol flap and uh, boot release. Lovely display, change the modes there on the radio. Volume controls, cruise control is just here. Indicators on the left, wipers on the right. Tremendous handling. There's a, a little bit of creaking, that's because I've got my seat uh, right the way back. I'll just try that. Oh! An Indian motorbike. Hopefully you'll be able to I'll let him go. That, that is beautiful. Seamless gear change, paddle shift there. Actually, I'll just put it back in into drive, which is all you need really. No doubt you get a few more miles to the gallon as well. More comfortable gear changes, smoother, not as noisy. Anything decent on the radio anyway, I don't know why I bother. He said you remind him of her when she was your age. But then again, kinda wish she were dead as she walks by. What a sight for sore eyes. What an awful record. Anyway, that was an awful record through both speakers. Uh, and so would sound the best it would ever do. like somebody making words up uh, to a tune they'd never heard before. Okay, I'll, I'll finish the test drive there anyway. Lovely car. Um, got to go in for its pre-delivery check over first, but uh, nothing really to point out. Just a nice car. I think we're going to be MOT in it. Um, only a short MOT on it, so we'll do that. And uh, just remind you, keep watching. I think I'm going to try and get out tomorrow to do a. We just bought a BMW X4. Um, our website ggcars.co.uk we have a web store on there too which uh, helps funding 
not a lot, but it helps, every little helps. And uh, you can keep an eye out, because sometimes before I video them, as soon as they come in, we take quick photos and put them on. So if you want to steal a march on everybody else waiting for the video, then keep an eye on the website and give us a call. We've got uh, live chat and email, of course. And uh, if, you, if you must, you can always telephone us. Camper van VW. Thank you. Lovely car. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Well, there's the X4.